we were talking to Jay Bond uh, the other day, and he mentioned uh, Marlon and how much he's in, improved in your particular room. Have you seen that from Marlon? What 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 do you think the difference is between year one and year two with him? And obviously, uh, you see a uh, you know a slight jump. Uh, I mean, he's you know down I think ten to fifteen pounds this year. Uh, he's moving a lot a lot better than he was last year, and you can tell that he took just the um, you know, the progression from last year at the end of the season, and he went home and he worked on it. And it shows um, just the way he's, you know, using his hands. His technique is so much better. Just, you know, kind of what you expect from, you know, a player that's coming back from, you know, off their first year. You know, what did they do the whole offseason? And I think Marlon, uh, he took, you know, he, he's taking the right steps in the right direction to, uh, to put himself in a position to help his team. Go ahead, Zach, and then Martin. Hey Fletcher, I, I heard you on on the NFL Network talking about how if if you did not know Brandon was injured, like you would not know he was injured based on the way he's playing. What specifically is he doing that that makes him look like the Brandon Graham of old in your mind? Uh, I think he's he's looked honestly the best he's looked in a couple of years. Um, I think I mean he always looked good, and but I think now I'm just you know what motivated him probably times ten was you know coming off an of injury and. You know, he's, you know, Brandon, you know, BG, he's, you know, he's into the media deal where, you know, he might have read some and it might, some lit a fire under B, on the BG right now. So um, I think that's the biggest thing for him. Um, he looks really good. Um, looks, you know, he's in shape. Um, and obviously he's my lock mate. So we talk a lot about, um, a lot about a lot of things that I told him, man, you look good. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, whatever he's doing, it's working. So I just, you know, try to tell him to keep doing it. If I can follow up real quick, did that surprise you at, at all? Because that's a, a major injury, you know, at that age that he's coming off of. It is. I mean, it normally takes a guy, you know, you know, six, seven, eight months, you know, post, you know, when you start back playing, you know, maybe basically a season to come back from something like that. And to see BG, you know, moving the way that he is, is, is really impressive. Um, he's actually, he actually looked faster if you, if you, you know, looking at the tape and watching him run off the ball. Go ahead, Martin, and then Dean. Hey, Fletch. Um, another thing we were talking we were talking to like Isaac Samal yesterday, and he's pretty much going up against you in, in practice a lot. And one of the things Javon was saying, like he noticed that like Isaac doesn't give anything away as far as you know what he's going to do, you know, when the ball's before the ball is snapped. I mean, what have you noticed about you know Isaac just coming back from that big injury and and how he's playing in a new position at right guard? Um, he's 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 coming good. I think uh, when I, when I found out he was playing right guard and right before training camp, I was like, hey man, you know, um, uh, we're here to make each other better, and you know, we respect we respect each other, but we're here to make each other better. Um, it was the same thing when when uh, when Brandon Brooks was here. We're here to make each other better. No plays off, you know. You know, let's work on our craft with each other and get better together. But the biggest thing with him so far in training camp, I think he's doing a good job of hiding a few things, um, technique wise, the way that he do. Um, and it really opened my eyes because I really never get a chance to go against him in training camp because he was always on the other side. But it's really opened my eyes. And, um, he do everything in a unique way, uh, which, you know, obviously keep I keep going against him, then I can figure it out. But, you know, these last few days, it's just been a battle between us two. And, and I look forward to going against him. You know, it don't matter what we're doing, one-on-ones, teams. Um, it, it don't even matter. Um, I look forward to going against him, and I know that, you know, we're here to make each other better. We have time for a couple more, so we'll go to Dave, Bo, and then Chris Franklin. Hey, Fletch. In those O-line, D-line drills, we've seen you and Hassan Reddick uh, working some games. Uh, what's what's that process like, kind of learning how each other plays and, and what goes into it? Just timing. Just working it together. And the, and the biggest thing is, no matter what happened during the drill, let's work our stuff. And that's, that's what we always talk about, working our stuff and timing and knowing, kind of getting a feel of it. You know, obviously we've been doing it in, in the O-line, D-line drills, but we also have been working in some team drills. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But it, if it, you know, we got to continue to work on it. And that's the only way we'll get better at it. Go ahead, Bo. Hey, Fletch, uh, speaking of those those one-on-ones, there was a rep the other day when when Jordan Davis went against Cam Jurgens and sort of pushed him deep into the backfield, and all, all of you guys, you know, had a, had a big reaction. Was there any any story behind that? Is there was there like something that he was specifically working on that made you guys react in such a way? Oh, it just it's hard to stop a big train when it's moving. 
You know, I don't think you can stop a train. Once that, once the train get rolling, it's hard to stop them. And, you know, I we, we talk every day, and I talk to Jordan every day about technique and about doing stuff. I said, man, just just always go out today and just focus on getting better at one thing. And it said, and just continue to do it until they stop. And when they stop, you just get better at it. You start hiding it. You just keep getting better at it and, and keep doing it and doing it. And, you know, in training camp, that's all, he, that's all he's doing. You know, he's taking that one thing every day um, and, and just, just working on it every day. You can tell that he's working on it. And, when you see a young guy like that, a guy, you know, I guess would have, you know, I, I told him all the time and I've been in that same position that he's in where the Eagles traded up to get me. So um, I kind of know where he's at right now. But I told him don't, don't, you know, let any other things distract him. Just work on the little things. And, you know, at the end of the day, we want to teach him how to be a pro, how to practice and, you know, how to, you know, how to, you know, be um, successful. Thank you. Last one here with Chris. Hey, Fletcher, when we first talked to you at camp, you're recovering from COVID and in the COVID progression period. How do you feel currently, and do you feel as if you're back to 100%? I feel good. Um, I feel good. I can tell that I'm, I'm definitely better than the last few um, the last few days. Um, you know, I've been obviously taking more, more team reps now and, you know, getting into the grooves of things. Uh, got my feet under me, got my hands kind of, you know, where they need to be and um, just just honed in on the training camp deal, you know, honed in on, you know, what's going around and, and being a leader and, you know, making sure that I'm practicing hard to set an example for, you know, for the younger guys like Jordan, you know, um, to, to watch, you know, me go out and run and, and just the way I handle myself in practice and around the building. Thanks for the time, Fletch. Thank you all.